see any guys. Never they're using this light to play. I see. I don't even know. They are playing with this light. If you live in Nigeria, you should know what I'm talking about. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. How are you doing? How are you doing? No, 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 let's do that. So, hey loves, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Today is Monday. Yeah, this is a new week. Mm -hmm. So, guys, um, if today is your first time of seeing my face, you are most definitely welcome. Please join the family. This is Joviki. My name is Joan. This is, and this channel is Joviki. Yeah, that's the name of this channel. It's an interesting one. It's my experience of while I was pregnant, the things I experienced, the things I was told, and you know, stuff like that. You know, there are so many people that think that um, they have, um, what do you call it now, mama? That they have all the experience yeah they feel they have all the experience and they feel they can just tell you you know what's the experience why they were pregnant and they feel it will also work for you meanwhile you know children are not the same i mean i'm not pregnant for your husband who am i <laughs> so guys if you're interested to watch this video then keep on okay watching. so the first thing i'll be talking about in this um, video today will be the, my other experience the things that was really difficult for me things that was that were hard for me that I couldn't deal with that whenever I think about them I start crying number one it's um, vomiting when I was pregnant every morning for the first trimester every morning I must like I must vomit it's like a must I must Vomit. You see me throwing up everywhere. When I'm brushing, I throw up. In short, before I even wake up, it's the vomit eh, that will even wake me up from the bed. So you see, eh, it was really, really stressful and difficult with them. So when it finally finished, the next one started. Chest bone. Oh God. When I want to sleep, I have chest bone. When I'm sitting, chest bone. When I'm walking, chest bone. At a point, I was never eating because of the fear of chest bone, guys. It was so serious that I, I could not eat. I wasn't eating to bed. Like, before I would go to, before I sleep in the night, I don't take any food. I just take water. Do you get? And that affected me while I was pregnant. Okay, that would be a story for another Thing. It affected me while I was pregnant. When I went for some tests, I discovered that something really happened to me because of the fact that I wasn't eating well. I was scared of the chest bone. See, the way the thing usually paints in, there's a friend of mine that was also pregnant. Or, yeah, she was pregnant. No, she gave birth before. She gave birth, yeah. She gave birth. So I, she was the one I was asking, you know. For yeah, so from some things that I'll just be like, let me ask her. Maybe she has experienced it. And then she will tell me that ah, this thing not happened to me. I'm like, why are all these things not happening to me while I was pregnant? One was that um, I could just relax. I wasn't doing anything. Like from the from the very first month I took in, my husband didn't allow me to wash clothes. He didn't allow me to sweep. He didn't allow me to do nothing. I was just the only thing I could do was to cook. Then at a point anyway, it got to a point that the, the aroma of things was just irritating me. It could make me throw. You understand? It it was not the one cooking. My was just to sit down, lie down, and eat. So those were the things I was basically doing. I was just, you know, feed real feed relaxed and being pampered and being spoiled. Yeah. I cannot come and kill myself. I cannot come and die. He was just doing everything for more. Yeah. So those are the things I think I enjoyed. I don't the fact that people would just see you and say, wow, come and sit down. Sorry. Oh, oh, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> they just they just feel sorry for you. They just, you know, they want you to do your things fast, fast, and go to where you're going to, you know. Yeah, just few persons anyway, not every 
other person I met while I was pregnant that were really, really generous to me. So the third thing I experienced while I was pregnant would be, um, um, you know, superstitious beliefs. You know, there are some persons that they, that they pass some things, some specific things to them. And, you know, they, they tend to tell, um, what is it called now? They're just telling every other person that, that are pregnant about what they have experienced. They're just telling every other person. You know, I could remember I was told that um, I shouldn't drink pure water. I shouldn't, I shouldn't drink cold water. You know, I told you guys that I had chest pain. Yeah? So whenever I'm feeling that pain, the only thing that could stop it, that would stop it was block, ice block or cold cheese water. Those were the only things that could stop it. But yeah, I was there telling me, you can't take water. You can't take cold water. It will affect your baby. It will affect when you want to give birth. Oh my goodness, God of Nazareth. I had to browse it. And when I did, guys, <laughs> God. I found out that the water doesn't even get to where the baby is. It doesn't even get to the sack where the baby is. So I was like, excuse me. Hello, who told you that? Hey, who told you that I can take cold water while I'm pregnant? So it's the weather is hot. I remember I could remember there was a particular small girl that was that was telling me, Mama, Mama, you're not supposed to be drinking cold water, you're pregnant. I'm like, have you been pregnant before? Have you, you know, this was a teenager. I was I called all my anger, all my frustration on her. Have you been yes. pregnant before? Okay. So how I handled childbirth. If I was to give birth again, will I handle it differently? Well, that's another thing I experienced while I was pregnant. Or the day I gave birth, the day to the day I gave birth, I would dance like seriously. Like, I did a lot of exercise because I was supposed to give birth on November 29th. And then the baby didn't come that day. So I gave birth December 5th. So December 4th, I did lots and lots of exercise. Yeah? Because my the last appointment appointment with the doctor i was told that if the baby doesn't come i will, I will be injected and induced and i didn't want that because i was told that in this month is very painful that the injection is really really painful so me equal on my friend you understand i don't want that kind of stuff so i had to do a lot of exercise i did um exercise i ran ran with um ran the house i just i raised with all my cousins my uncle's children and my sister although they won anyway <laughs> i raised with them yeah and um what else what else what else yeah and i did eat that night yeah so um when the the um the next day was 6 a.m that was when labor started so went to the hospital at 8 a.m <laughs> so yeah, what is it so I went to the hospital at 8 a.m. So if I should give birth again, I don't I won't go to the hospital that early because I left I went to the hospital 8 a.m. and I gave birth 4 to 5 p.m. You can imagine how long I spent in the hospital. It was really, really annoying. So the next baby, whenever <coughs> sorry mama. The next baby won't look like that. So I now have an ex an experience that you know it doesn't you don't just have to run to the hospital immediately, yeah. So guys Take notes for those of you who have not given birth. Although it's it's, it's different, so it's so the first thing advice that uh, okay, um, things I heard about pregnancy they were accurate. Well, things I heard about pregnancy were they were were they accurate? Well, not all of them. Yeah, like the ones I just said, the cold water it wasn't true. Yeah, and then some persons will tell you that um that um, you should uh, eat for two. That's a big lie. You don't eat for two it for two i just going to make your baby so fat and then uh, when you want to bring your baby out <laughs> it will be difficult and they will have to you know cut you and you know do all those one of things to your you know your big area and you don't want that guys you don't want that so you just have to eat and respect yourself it's, it's advice and uh, uh, you know it's advice that you eat small smaller portions uh, eat small small food you can eat like small small food seven times a day not to pack your food and pull the plates because you want to chop many many food <laughs> so guys yeah it is advisable that you eat smaller portions yeah okay my advice to the newborn moms my advice would be um 
you know just take things easy and um you know I, don't always listen to what people are saying if you cannot browse then <laughs> i don't know what your problem would be if you can't browse i mean why can't you just browse and check for information to yourself yeah so you don't just listen to listen to what um somebody's telling you because the person has given birth your baby and theirs is quite different very different so yeah you don't just go around listening to what they have to yeah. say if you enjoyed okay. this video okay, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down in the um, comment section down below let me know what your experience where where you were pregnant how hey. you dare you dealt with it mama what is it how you dealt with it and you know um your own stories what you were told or your sister or whatever any other person what they were told about pregnancy what the the myths you guys heard about being pregnant what you were told to do and what not to do yeah let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in my next one bye